Okay, new idea. Um, so this is a book that I've been using as a sketchbook, but I was thinking I'm going to make this into a front book, a planner book. So I'm going to cut it down uh, using a Leuchtturm size book to see where to cut. And then I'm going to, uh, I think, because <laughs> the thing is, I have been inking a lot of pages in my ordinary notebooks. Uh, I've made a few videos about that. But some of these silk papers I still haven't, you know, looked up what, what it's called in English. But this paper, some of them bleed very easily. So you can dye pages with them. Others, not at all. They don't, they don't bleed at all. So I was thinking I could glue those onto the pages instead of using them to dye pages. So that way I could, well, it doesn't completely cover up the writing, but it makes it more, I don't know, because <laughs> my, I was thinking I can then use this as a planner and, well, journal, front book, my usual thing. So I'm just <laughs> starting by removing all the, um, uh, the sketches. And obviously, if you do this, you, I mean, when you alter a book, you can remove pages just to, um, well, because maybe if you add a lot of bulk, it, um, you want to remove some pages so it's not too thick. I am doing this just because I don't want these, I don't want to destroy my, my drawings. So instead I'm removing them. And I have made quite a few, so this might take a while. Um, but I've been sort of circling around this idea of using a second-hand book for my planning needs because it feels slightly like a luxury hobby to use one notebook a month even though I use it for everything so I mean I'm not wasting paper but I mean, like morning pages, you don't have to use really nice paper for that. So that's, that's a bit of a luxury. So I've been sort of playing with different ways and ideas how to use secondhand books instead. But um, I haven't, you know, I, um, you have to cover up the text somehow because, of course, it's very distracting if you're going to use this as a planner. Um, and I have tried painting the pages. Um, I, no, I haven't really liked it because it's still very visible what's underneath. And I was thinking covering the pages with this silk paper instead might do the trick. Are there any more sketches in here? No? I know there's one because I haven't ripped it out yet. 
There it is. <laughs> there we go. So, next step is to cut it down. And I can use this, my March book. Come on. To, well, I think I will. Do I have a pen here somewhere? <laughs> it's like being thirsty in the middle of. Like, w w there's an abundance of, of uh, pens and pencils and markers and everything in this house, but every time I need a pen, I can't find one. My husband thinks this is very funny. I think it's irritating. Right. So I might need a, a ruler of some kind so that I cut straight. So I'm just using a craft knife to remove the excess paper. Another thing that I learned from Monique Smith <laughs> that I keep harping on about. This will be tedious, but I've been think I've been watching a movie tonight. But half my mind has been on this project the whole time because when I get a bee in my bonnet, it keeps buzzing until I do the thing. And sometimes, you know, I I get so hijacked by a thought that it feels like this is this is the best idea ever and if I don't do this today I will just go mad and then I do the thing like make a new book or something and when it's done I just it's like it's never happened I just abandon the book I don't use it it was just the process you know wanting to do it to make my idea a reality that's the important part and when it's done it's like you know it never existed I don't need the ruler anymore um, so things that are already finished and made are, are not half as interesting <laughs> as the ideas that I have yet to realize and I think that's the reason why I don't like buying things that are too ready-made because they don't inspire me. Like craft supplies that are too designed. Um, it just, it gets boring to me because someone has already done the thing. I want to do the thing. <laughs> If you understand what I mean. This is really dangered. And I don't care. I was thinking, because I am prepping books for all the months except July. I'm not sure if... I, I think I want to take a break from my system my ordinary setup in July. Not, I mean, I mean I'm still going to have a front book and all those things um, and my usual planning system, but I might not do the same sections as usual because 
it feels like July should be a vacation month in more ways than one. Not just vacation from work, but also all my usual habits and musts, <laughs> as it were. I think I might have to start from the back to make this, um, well, to make it work, <laughs> because, um, oh, <laughs> I can't trace it when there are lots of tabs in there. Yeah, so I'd like to take a break from my setup. Um, and just maybe make, like I was thinking I might m do some regular bullet journaling where I just turn to the next blank page instead of counting out the pages. I don't know, so this book might be what I use for July. So it would be a signal to myself that I'm not using my ordinary books. It's not a Leuchtturm, it's not a pristine um, bought notebook. It's homemade. Yeah, I can do whatever I like with it. I don't I I can have even less respect for the book uh, than usual. I don't know. We'll see how this works out because I might not be happy with the result and then I might just abandon it like I do everything else. Oops. So there are probably tips out there on how to cut books down without getting these jagged pages. For example, you can be more careful than I am. Uh, you can use a, use a scissors, perhaps, or a pair of scissors. Um, but I just want this to be done quickly. I might even... Um, washi tape the edges so it doesn't matter if they're jagged. I want my July book to be less, uh, what's the word, well more more relaxed and fun you know. So this would be a part of that. Uh, Getting sick of this. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to switch off the camera because you don't want to watch this. All right, I switch it off on again because I have now moved to this side, and I'm realizing that I need to cut out the the in insides of the book from the cover. Uh, before I continue because the cover is in the way so I'm trying to be a little bit more careful here because I don't want to cut into the spine the inner spine that keeps all of this together especially since oh look at that <laughs> that was easy Especially since uh, this is not a bound book, a sewn book. It's bound, but it's not sewn. It's, um, uh, what's it called? Glued. So the pages are much easier to, well, they, they come off more easily than when a book is sewn. Which means that if I damage the spine it's it's bad <laughs> so I'm trying not to do that of course I do want to damage it here I want to cut
got it here. <sighs> but this is kind of hard. Let's see what we have here. Oh. <laughs> okay. Because it's glued, it's quite hard to, it's really, well, hard to cut through. I uh, don't really know how to handle that. This is also my work desk, so <laughs> tomorrow I want to come up here to work, you know, my day job. I will have a lot of clutter around my computer, but I can live with that. If I couldn't live with clutter, I couldn't be a crafter. Crafter. We're here in the after of a murderous crafter. To quote my favorite band, which is not so much a band as a person, a dictator with hired guns. are starting to rip so don't don't do this at home kids I'm just I mean if I do this again sometime I might be more careful this is the first time I do it so I'm really impatient I want to see <laughs> what it's you know what the result is But you should also be careful so you don't cut yourself, which is a very real risk right now. There we go. Maybe I will cut to the final pages. I mean, with the scissors. Same word, cut and cut. In Swedish we have two different words. Skära and kippa, depending on if you use a knife or a pair of scissors. Oh. This does <laughs> not work, come on. Get yourself together. I would, I think I need something sturdier, a sturdier knife. Feels like this one's going to break. It's really tough to get through. Ugh. How to do this? Help! <laughs> Can any of you help me? I should do a live stream instead and get real time advice. This seems to work. So. You just sort of chip away. Oh. As long as you don't care what it looks like, you can use any any method to get through. 
So what I will do next, as I said, is to cover pages in here with really thin paper, colored paper. Maybe if I do it like this, just divide these so I don't have to cut through as, as much. works quite well but you should never say that until you're done because you know famous last words I'm convinced my final words in life will be something like oh shit or um, well this works really well and then you know bye bye starting to look like one of those really old books where you have to cut open the pages like they're glued or they're uh, they haven't been cut like they're double they they stick together and you have to cut them open yourself all right so <laughs> looks like a slaughterhouse in here but no blood just paper paper instead of entrails Okay, so now we have at least the start of the front book. And how many pages do we have? Well, 300 something, but I have removed a lot of them. And my ordinary front books are 250 pages. So I'm hoping this will be, well, something like that. I'm going to glue the first pages together because yeah, that makes the, the front sturdier and, and this ripped front page or first page so I can get some help <laughs> from the next one. There we go, so I don't have to see that sticking out. Okay. And now for the actual idea. Um, let's see. I'm going to start with the first page, the first chapter. So which which papers didn't bleed? I don't remember. Um, well, since this is going to be July, I'm thinking for me July is sort of purple, pink which means that this might be a good colour, this too, and this, um, but maybe other colours as well, maybe some, 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 some uh, orange, do I have any orange here, yes, and some pale, um, pale yellow. I have lots of that. So that's something to start with. And this might not work at all. I might abandon the project in a few minutes when I see how bad it looks. But then I'll know. There's only one way to find out. 
So this will go here. And I'm thinking, look at that. Yes. Oh, I like it. I like it already. I'm thinking the uh, inner spine might need some reinforcement because even though these papers are really thin, they will bulk up the book and put strain on the spine. So I might have to put, well, I might uh, mod podge the spine or put washi tape there or gesso or some kind of lacquer just to reinforce it, you know. I'm not sure yet. So this needs to, uh, I don't want any wrinkles, so I need to put it on like carefully. Even I have to be careful sometimes. I don't know if I want to, I might dye that page because it's, there's no text on it. So, uh, okay. So it doesn't need to be covered, covered up. <laughs> the ink comes off, the ink that the text is printed with. So the, the, um, Glue becomes grey. Wouldn't have thought that. Okay, another page. I want the side, you know, this side to be straight, fairly straight. Maybe use this one on the other side, but it's already wrinkled, so it might, I don't know. We'll see. This is an experiment after all. So, just have to try. It's a bit difficult because, um, well, okay. Well, that didn't work. This got really, really wrinkled. But I will do something about that. I might glue on some other piece of paper, like, you know and use that page anyway. And of course I will trim all of it. I mean, maybe I'll do that now actually. <laughs> Since I'm talking about it. I mean, this is a lot of work compared to just buying a notebook and flipping it open and starting to write. But on the other hand, I, it's quite a lot of work to ink my ordinary notebooks as well. And I just don't like white pages um, a lot of the time. So it's worth it, I think. It is a hobby. So if it takes time and energy, that's what hobbies are for. They kill time. <laughs> All those things. Okay, so, I mean, this, I will just continue like this, 
and I've taken out a lot of pages here in the beginning so it might turn out that I don't want these first pages because they are too you know as you can see they're very there are lots of holes here on the other hand that means that I can put a lot of embellishments there and um, without them taking up I mean they take up room of course but it doesn't matter because there there's already room to grow as it were so by now you know the drill I think I will just glue this page on and then switch off the camera and perhaps come back when I'm done with all of it. <laughs> all of it. I'm not sure I will do the whole book because it is a lot of work but then again it, it does look kind of nice and just imagine these pages with embellishments. Oh, do we have something here to exemplify? Yes, here's an example. It doesn't fit <laughs> the colour, but, you know, it might, yeah, I, I, I think, I think I will like this. So, I just have to put in the work. And doing this now, I won't do the whole book tonight because I have to go to bed. <laughs> but just starting the project makes my brain calm down. And I can sort of, uh, well, because the idea has started to take shape in the real world, so I don't have to think about it all the time. Um, That's just how ideas are with me. They, they hijack my brain and they never leave me a moment's peace. So this is sort of what it will look like and perhaps with a strip of washi tape or some other um, uh, border or embellishment. So I'll be back. Something I'm realizing as I'm working with this tissue paper is that it's very thin and it rips easily and it might be that a glue stick is not the best option. Maybe Mod Podge or uh, PVA glue uh, with, uh, mixed with water is a better, better glue for this because if if there are bubbles, like air bubbles in here, when you write on it, it will probably rip. Like here, uh, there's not glue all over the page, which means that this will be very fragile. And if I use a pen with a sharp nib, it might not, you know, lead to <laughs> the perfect result um, but I am liking the feel of the pages they get quite thick but not too thick it's not as if you've glued another piece of ordinary paper on it because you haven't <laughs> but I might go over this with homemade Mod Podge just to make sure you know and I might also add um, acrylics that's another way of making it more durable perhaps because they're plastic colors look at that it's really yeah it's not sticking 
all that well to the page. Also, adding acrylics would make, like it would cover up more of the text and make it less visible because if you have other patterns as well, that takes away from the background. Um, I might even use, I mean, let's just try it. Um, what about this one, perhaps? Just adding a bit of watercolour. It's almost, I'm almost out of this colour, but, um, well, let's see which page. Maybe, maybe this one. Uh, where are my gloves? Oh, I don't need them. I'll use this one. Well, yeah, I do need them. <laughs> uh, because it's very... I mean, even though I use gloves, I still look like this at the end of the, the day. So... It's almost the same colour, so maybe try some on this side as well, just to see what it looks like. try a bit of why not <laughs> I have the idea now so I have to continue let's see what we have over here, <coughs> over here. maybe some gold and some um, what else these colors what is it permanent magenta okay let's try it Maybe not on this page, maybe, oh, it bled through. Hmm, okay, uh, do I do, yeah. <laughs> I should use the other glove as well. Everything is so fucking spontaneous. Can't live with myself. like a, an art journal background rather than just a page in a planner but that's how I like it oh, I really like that maybe some brown or maybe not because I, it's too the cork is too tight. Okay, well, <laughs> let's use some, some gold instead. If I can... Oh. No, it's impossible. So I have another one. <laughs> I can't get this open either. Okay. Mm. 
this is what my May planner should look like. <sighs> oh well, we learn, we evolve. on this desk. It's no room for me. Um, how about we remove some of this? Getting a bit too trigger happy with the gold. And this can be used for other things, like this could make for a, a border if I cut it up in strips. You know, gold and pink, that might look good on a page. Or even, I could even glue this down as a page, I cover a page with this. Yeah, why not? Like this. Ooh, wait, maybe. I'm... No, no, this side, yes. I like it. Let's do it at once. Which means that I'm using up all the scraps as well. If I do it like that. You don't have to have um, full or big pieces. You can glue down strips like this. Yeah. <laughs> and maybe even another color, like, or maybe not. I said it's prone to ripping so as long as you're prepared for that anything can happen you won't be dismayed well you might be but at least you know what you're in for another version and then you'll build it up with embellishments and this was actually I, I meant to do this um, there is gold on these other pages now as well because they stuck out when I was doing the edge of this page. Oh my, I love this. <laughs> oh, yeah, this will be a beautiful book. I might not finish it before July, but um, at least I've started now. And I know where I'm going with it, so this will be an Indian book, obviously. <laughs> and if I don't, it might be that it doesn't work as a front book, but then I will use it as a junk journal, I guess. So 
there's always some use for it.